Back with their latest mini arcade cabinet, the 1942 X Replicate brings all the attention to detail that we've seen on their previous cabinets to another classic title. In true New Wave Toys fashion, the Little Boy cabinet is impeccably designed in a 1 6 scale replica to capture the feel of the full size cabinet. So let's dive in and take a closer look at the 1942 X Replicate from New Wave Toys. Thanks for watching 9 to 5 Toys. Be sure to like, subscribe, and enable notifications with the bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Hey everyone, Jordan here with 9 to 5 Toys. New Wave Toys always includes a few extras in the box for some more authenticity. For the 1942 X Replicate, New Wave Toys has packed a few of the mini metal arcade tokens, a top secret sticker, and a 1943 mini arcade stick. Just like the other cabinets, the first thing you notice when getting the 1942 X Replicate out of the box is the incredible attention to detail. As a 1-6 scale replica, you might think that the graphics would be a little bit hard to see or maybe a little bit fuzzy, but New Wave Toys creates a high resolution package with tons of details. Looking at the back of the cabinet, let's start from the top down. Up top we have the volume dial, a power light, and power switch. Moving further down we have the speakers. Closer to the bottom are the USB-A ports for up to two external controllers, a micro USB port for charging, and HDMI out to connect to a TV. One update over some of the older cabinets is that the coin slot has a different design with a rocker button beside it. This is more of a Japanese style cabinet design. Pressing the rocker button up will add credits, while pushing it down will enter the arcade's operator menu, which features customizable dip switches and cabinet settings. Beyond just settings, you can also boot up 1943 instead of 1942, and you can just play both games. So it's great to have a bit more variety in this cabinet. And we'll dive more into the menu here in a second. The stock controls on the 1942 Replicate cabinet feel quite a bit different than the included 1943 controller. On the cabinet, there really isn't much of a sound or tactile feedback, and maybe feels a little bit mushy. But when using the 1943 controller, you do get more of a tactile feedback and also get some nice satisfying clicks. The cabinet also features an HDMI out if you want to connect it to a TV to make playing the game easier. And if you are trying to reach a high score, I would totally recommend this as the little bullets can be hard to see when they're coming at you on that small screen. The LCD screen gets bright enough, though I did go into the menu and pump it all the way up when recording with video lights turned on. New Wave Toys also has speakers in the back which sound great, even if the soundtrack from 1942 is just a little bit harsh on your ears thanks to that whistle. Since we've already checked out the Street Fighter 2 X Replicate, I do wish that there was a storage compartment in the back of the 1942 Replicate cabinet to hold that 1943 controller when you're not using it. Entering the menu provides a ton of options for the cabinet. First off, you can select 1942 or 1943, and you can also change the difficulty. Both games have different difficulty options. You can also change the brightness or backlight of the screen and turn on or off the marquee light. And in 1942, there are other game options in here that you can check out. So one of the best things about New Wave Toys is this collection that they're creating. We've gone hands-on with the Street Fighter 2 X Replicate and the Dragon's Lair Replicate, but there are plenty more than that in the collection. So be sure to follow them and keep an eye out for more upcoming cabinets since they are in limited runs and do go out of stock. New Wave Toys does also have a 1943 Replicate cabinet as well, so if you're interested in that one, be sure to check it out on the website. And beyond just these arcade cabinets, they also carry accessories like stylish power banks and pads to make your mini arcade look more lifelike. So overall just wrapping up here on this quick hands-on review, if you're a collector, the 1942 Replicate is an easy choice to make. If it's perfectly alongside other New Wave Toys cabinets with some incredible attention to detail. At $150 it is considerably more expensive than the Street Fighter 2 or Dragon's Lair cabinets cost, but it's still a must-have for collectors in my opinion. And that'll do it for our quick little hands-on review of the New Wave Toys 1942X Replicate. Let us know what you think about it down in the comments below. Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. This is Jordan with 9to5Toys.